Hey everyone, welcome to me talking about music while I commute. You know, getting your day job to work out at the same time you're trying to have a uh, music production or an alias uh, or a band is a, is a really, really tough thing to get uh, to grips with. Um, I'm sure a lot of you are thinking the same thing as I am doing this. Uh, I have a, a nine to five job and a, a girlfriend and friends and, and, uh, and uh, a lot of stuff basically that I gotta do each, every, each and every day. I'm in my 30s and uh, I've uh, always uh, enjoyed music and I just a couple of years ago figured that yeah music production is my thing um, to be happy you know but uh, as a lot of you guys already recognized I'm sure it's a really really tough gig to get to work uh, <laughs> uh, with uh, your everyday job I mean you could obviously quit your day job and uh, just focus solely on music but what would happen then would be that uh, you would uh, sacrifice a lot of the uh, creature comforts which uh, we're all getting accustomed to and uh, we'd be putting ourselves on a limb which uh, uh, a lot of us are not uh, ready to do I mean some of you guys might already have kids uh, you might have uh, you might be married, you might have mortgages, I mean, hell, you could, you could be up to your, your ears in debt, for all I care. So, it's a tough gig to get to work, so what I'm going to try to do here, I mean, I'm just going to be babbling about music, obviously, uh, when I commute to work every day. Um, so that's basically the expectations you would have to have on me <laughs> doing this. But what I'm gonna try to look at today is uh, how to get uh, that to work. Well, basically how to make ends meet, uh, both in your wallet and in your your soul satisfaction, whatever you want to call it. You know, with your music production, how do you get both to to work? How to get uh, how to uh, you know eat the cake and uh, keep the remains, or whatever you call it in uh, other parts of the world. I don't know. How to make everything fit. Uh, so what I'm gonna, what I'm trying to do is just to keep a schedule uh, and to stick to that. Um, as uh, as with all things that I do, uh, if I if I stick to it and I I keep my schedule, uh, then I I make progress and. Uh, I know a lot of people work that way, and basically everyone does, right? If you want to follow the, the old saying that 10,000 hours is what you need to be really, really good at something, um, you know, that's uh, pretty much what you gotta do, right? You gotta find a way to fit in those 10,000 hours. I know some of you guys think that, okay, whatever, 10,000 hours, I'm not gonna do that, or. 10,000 hours, yeah, I mean, it's fine doing 10,000 hours if you know what you're doing, but if you don't know what you're doing, then it doesn't really matter. Well, what I'm thinking about that is doing 10,000 hours in music production is going to have you come a long way no matter what you look at it. If you are at all uh, critically thinking, if you if you know a little bit about how to how to learn things or make progress in life then you'll know what to do with your 10,000 hours that you have put to your disposal right so we'll look at how to to make progress at music production in the future but um, right now I'm just gonna be talking about how to make everything work so a rigid schedule is super important I'm up early today, so the plan is to go to the gym to get that out of the, out of, out of the way. That's a part of uh, what I need to do every day to, uh, to feel you know, good and uh, to have enough energy to get all of uh, the things in my schedule to fit. 
so that's the first thing I'm doing and uh, same thing as everything else pretty good schedule I got 30 minutes which I'm gonna just bang out at the gym you know and I've prepped everything in my bags to have that work you know I have my uh, uh, my towels I have my uh, my showering cream I have everything uh, a couple of extra shoes and all of these things I prepped yesterday I got breakfast sorted all of these things are done uh, and after me of 30 minutes of uh, gym I'm gonna have I'm gonna fly through work and get that done you know eight hours later plants could come home you know then I have the entire afternoon uh, locked out with different things to do first thing is to sit down eat you know to recuperate a bit to have a bit of a relaxation uh, before I sit down for one hour and I produce okay I produce music I make music and I know that I'm not gonna be finished with the track in one hour that's impossible in my mind at least at the, at the stage that I'm in and especially if you're starting out it's gonna be real tough to get a, to get a track done in an hour so don't even try to do that but try to if you're trying to do this one hour each day what you need to do and I know it's tough to get each and to get all of the things you want to do into an hour but just picture this okay an hour is uh, basically the time you spend in front of the TV to watch a series or the time you spend uh, you know eating candy or whatever you can you can find an hour each day to make music it's like if you want to work out, it's the same thing. You can find 30 minutes or an hour to work out. I mean, focusing on your body for working out as well as your mind, obviously, for working out. And focusing on your soul for making music. You know, one hour for each of those each day is it's just got to happen. It's got to be possible, man. you got to be able to do it. Because if not, you have your priorities set wrong. And uh, whatever your life situation is, basically you need a schedule to make it work. Um, and uh, that schedule, whatever that is for for you, uh, to get it to work in your life situation, uh, that's got to be up to you to, to find out and know. Uh, I can only recommend uh, that you you try out to do it one hour each day and I really recommend an hour uh, less than that is still gonna work but it's not gonna be as uh, productive as an hour and uh, an hour might easily uh, become two hours if you're not careful from experience uh, that tends to happen yeah because <laughs> you end up uh, getting zoned in uh, at the work but yeah I mean for me to get energy for for doing this uh, I really need to work out each day uh, and it, it's the same thing uh, working out as making music in my mind I mean I look at it as something that I really really need to do for my body's sake and my mind's sake uh, so it's basically work you know <laughs> but in another sense it also is very very much rewarding just like your day job could be if you have a good one uh, rewarding right thing is though to make uh, music you need to spend energy right same as working out you need to spend energy but you get energy back in return so just getting into a schedule to get that to work is really important what do I do to, uh, to spur myself on to, to to get into this schedule thing 
I've had issues with this for so many years. It's almost ridiculous, you know, getting into a schedule. It's crazy. I mean, I've always had my mindset that, okay, I'm just going to do whatever I want. It's going to be fine. I'm going to have fun, whatever I do, and it's going to be okay. It's going to be good. What happens is it's unstructured. It's uh, haphazard. You know, it's haphazard. It's, um, it's just not effective. And uh, at the end, if you're not following a, a kind of a schedule doing things like this, which you really like, you know, you'll end up uh, just doing it whenever you have time and you'll be missing out on, um, on the, the times where you really should just sit down and focus on it. Because music production, just like working out, is work, but it's good work. It's fun work because you like doing it. Because you've chosen to do it yourself. In your spare time, you're not making a cent from it. At least not right now. You might, you might in the future, make make money from it. <laughs> it's a really small chance to do that. And we'll talk about that in a coming situation, in a coming episode. Um, but uh, yeah try to uh, work out each day try to make music each day sleep well each day do something fun each day <laughs> so okay let's uh, sum these up um, things you need kind of that let's sum the things up which I do each day in order to, uh, you know, have a productive and fun day. That's basically the reason why I can do these things each and every day, because I enjoy them uh, together as a whole each day. <laughs> and what are they? In order for me to get the energy enough to make music each day, I sleep at least seven hours each day. It's really important. Sleeping is extremely crucial for you. If you're not sleeping properly, you'll not uh, you'll not have the energy enough to uh, to produce music, basically. <laughs> Working out, work out each day. Uh, get those end, uh, endorphins moving. Um, get the, the energy. You know, it creates basically energy for your body to uh, to focus and uh, and uh, to, to produce things. So, sleeping is recuperating energy. Working out is creating energy, right? These two things are super important. If you don't do these each day, uh, you are gonna uh, miss out on on something. For your music production, I guarantee it. Eat properly, obviously, uh, and regularly. These are like basic things. It's like ridiculously basic things, <laughs> but they're super important. And if you miss them out, if you if you just skip on some of these, uh, you're gonna lose energy. You're gonna lose uh, the, the the that crucial little spark which you have when you sit down to produce because it's not easy I mean producing is like uh, a work of art you know if you want to create a, an, a painting uh, or if you want to um, yeah if, for example if you want to create a painting you'll need to get into a, a state of mind to make that work you know it's not like yeah I'm just gonna stand here and uh, spur out a couple of uh, uh, you know, paintbrush uh, strokes here, uh, and I'm gonna create a masterpiece. Uh, I mean, some of the people might be able to do that. I know some jazz musicians that just sit down and just go for it. You know, and they'll they'll make amazing music. But the thing is, most of us, I believe, uh, need to come into a certain mindset uh, and to be in a in a good state of mind to create good music. 